More than ever, iOS and Android seem to be nearly identical in their features. With both mobile OSs now over a decade old, each has moved into a level of system maturity that makes groundbreaking new features few and far between. Still, there are times where one platform gets a feature the other doesn't have, and that's true with screen recording on iOS. If you're on social media, you've probably seen people use screen recording to share their favorite clips from places like TikTok and other video-focused apps. Most of these screen captures come from iOS, but if you're on Android, you've actually been able to screen record for years, just not natively. Let's take a look at how to record your screen on Android. For the best experience with screen recording, you're going to want to be on Android 10, the newest version of Android as of this recording. Android 10 finally added support for internal audio recording, something necessary for recording a great clip. So if you're on an older version of Android, you'll need to settle for either mic recording or silent clips. A quick search will result in showing you hundreds of screen recorders, all with various positive to negative reviews depending on the app. In our eyes, there's only one screen recording app to turn to in 2020, and that's the aptly named Screen Recorder No Ads. This app has a great design that looks straight out of Google's playbook, keeping things minimal and easy to use. Once the app is installed on your phone, open Screen Recorder to choose a folder to save your video recordings in. Allow access to the folder of your choice, then tap on the blue recording icon in the bottom right corner. Give the app permission to display over other apps, and you'll have access to a floating record bar on your phone. Before we record, make sure you head into settings to customize your experience. You can change your time display before recording, the options for ending your recording, your video resolution, bitrate and frame rate, and most importantly, the option to record audio. If you want to record audio, toggle this option on, allow permission, then make sure you change your audio source from mic to internal sound. Again, you'll need to be on Android 10 to select this option. With your options changed, you'll be good to go. Tap on the record icon on the floating control bar, then accept permissions and allow Android to begin recording. You'll get a countdown for recording your screen, and you'll know your video is being captured when you see a small display icon in the status bar of your phone. When you're done, just hit stop from the bar in your notification tray. Of course, you don't have to use our suggested app. Many of the screen recording apps on the Play Store are solid choices, though each uses their own interface for recording. It's worth noting that beta versions of the upcoming release of Android 11 have a built-in native screen recorder, just like iOS, so when the final version releases to Pixel phones later this summer, you may no longer have to record using a third-party app. If you liked this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Android and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.